Now, strange as it may seem, Bailey Autograph is only the company's fifth motorhome range. And this, the 68.2, is its sixth release in this new series. And in case you're wondering, this is the second van in the range that has a rear lounge. And it's one of three that comes in under three and a half thousand kilograms. The new range has a very pleasing exterior look, a back panel that wouldn't look out of place on an expensive German import, brilliant white sidewalls and cabs, and green and silver colorways for the decals. And these vans are based on the Alco AMC Ultra Low chassis, so road holding is very good indeed, and you don't need an entrance step to get into the van. I'm only at this height because I'm at the show and I'm standing on a step because Bailey thought I was looking a little bit short when I turned up. Now the 68.2 has an end lounge configuration and we like this layout in the UK because on occasion when the weather's not so good we like spending time indoors and this is a very pleasant place to be indeed. Parallel seat benches so you can look each other fondly across the gangway and triple aspect windows as an estate agent would say very compact and bijou. And there's absolutely more styling goodness on evidence here. These Roman style windows with blinds. And yes, they all function. These blinds drop down and they make a very pleasing ensemble indeed. The seats are very comfortable. They have this leather configuration, which is a cost extra, but the seating system is called Dream Sleep, which we shall get onto later. The support on the back is very good and the squads are good too. The only slight compromise is the length of the squab here along the back wall. It's not quite as comfortable as these because it's a little bit more shallow. But there is an upside to this. Say somebody on site has been eyeing up your van fondly from afar. You invite them in for a couple of drinks. Where would you make them sit? I'd put them there. Now working on the assumption that you will spend some proportion of your touring adventures in this lounge looking for some entertainment in bad weather, Bailey has thought of your needs. The media pack gives you a 19 and a half inch flat screen TV, which is on a little stand at the back here and is very good indeed. You can watch it over from this side. Take care to avoid these seats though, or sitting comfortably in this corner. But if that's not enough, there are some speakers to tap the audio straight into the lounge from the stereo or from the TV. But if, even if that is not really floating your boat, there is one other thing to pass away loads of time in this lounge that I particularly like. And that is courtesy of Italian design gods, Tech no form. How good is that? Now the good news is there's another one of these overhead lockers in the kitchen so you can get similar levels of enjoyment just by doing that. But here of course it fulfills a valuable storage function and they look very good with the worktop and units underneath. In case you're wondering, three drawers, soft closing so you can pull things towards you rather than rummaging around at the back of a cupboard. The other thing at the top here is the cutlery drawer, which basically allows you to put the cutlery at the front and tip it in very easily. Now the sink at the back is basically that shape because of having to accommodate this drawer and is the only thing in the kitchen where I think a little bit more work on the styling wouldn't have gone amiss. There are four screws and it just seems a little bit of an odd shape when taken as part of the kitchen ensemble. Now this also features dual fuel cooker and a combination oven and grill. Aren't you thinking the same as me that a separate oven and grill would be better? Not so says Bailey. Apparently motor caravanners prefer an all-in-one unit and who are we to argue? Other kitchen equipment includes a microwave oven on this side and that's atop a tall narrow fridge. So loads of space for all your touring provisions. Now the offside washroom is located just behind the driver's seat but it certainly packs everything in. You get a separate shower compartment that's behind the swivel loo and also a hand basin that wouldn't look out of place in a boutique hotel. The end lounge seating converts into a spacious double bed measuring 2.2 meters by 1.56. That's six foot 11 by five foot one in old money. It uses the dream sleep system which is manageable to make up and it's very comfortable too. Now buyers of the new Bailey Autograph range get the very latest Peugeot engine, a Euro 6 compliant unit that's two litre and produces 160 bhp. You also need to use Add Blue. What's that? Well, it's a diesel exhaust fluid that you put into this little cap every 10,000 or so miles and it basically keeps the emissions cleaner to meet the new standards. Now let's just run some numbers about this new model. The Bailey Autograph 68.2 starts from £49,995 on the road. It's 6.8 metres long and at 3,500 kilograms anyone can drive it on a standard car licence and that all important user payload is very generous too at 451 kilograms. There's loads of really desirable kit on board, Audi wet central heating, 
Technoform lockers, the Dream Sleep system, the list goes on. And it's hugely impressive to have such an accomplished model join the range. I think this particular van with its N lounge could be a real hit with British buyers.